on, let's take a look at multiple choice number five. So we got sales of jelly and sales of peanut butter at a local store are recorded weekly. The correlation is, or between X and Y is 90 or 0 0.9, which is the best explanation of what this correlation means. Okay, so let me, let me get a couple of things under my belt. The first thing I can see is that this is a chapter 12 problem. We're dealing with regression. And one of the things we talked about in chapter 12 was correlation. There were plenty of other things in chapter 12, but that was one of them. So if I look, I do have my two numerical variables. I have this sales of jelly and sales of peanut butter. Those are my two numerical variables. And whenever we have two numerical variables, we're looking at regression. At least in this class, there's way more options out there in the greater stats world, but for this class, we look at that. And when I say that there's a correlation of 0 0.9, if I want to interpret it, that would mean that there was a strong, positive, linear relationship between peanut butter sales. I'll, I'll just abbreviate this, PB sales and jelly sales. So let me go look for that explanation. So this says 90% of customers either buy peanut butter or jelly. No. 90% of the variability in peanut butter sales can be explained by the variability in jelly sales. Okay, this is an interpretation of R squared, at least the phrasing of it, not R. All right, and so that's not correct. All right, we've got 81% of the variability in peanut butter sales can be explained by ver um, the variability in jelly sales. Same thing here. So that I, I can't rule that one out until I actually calculate our particular R squared value. But let me see what D says. 90% of the time when the price of peanut butter goes up, so does the price of jelly. So no. So it's leading me to believe that C is correct, but let's, let's just double check. So if I go ahead and I square 0.9, right? 0.9 squared would be 0.81. And as a percentage, that is 81%. And then this explanation is correct because that is the interpretation for peanut butter. We're saying, hey, we know sometimes there's a variation in how much um, peanut butter sells. And most of the time that can be explained by how much jelly is selling. And then about 19% of that, we, we're not sure where it's coming from. All right. So there's number four.